Hi guys, it's Michelle Geomatics and I want to show you how you can download the Esri Data and Maps data. If you don't know about the Esri Data and Maps, it's data and maps that Esri has made available for their customers. And it's a great resource for getting started with any project. You're going to find the shapes of countries, the United States, populations, cities, all kinds of information. There's some census data, the locations of rivers and federal lands, lots of useful stuff for different projects. So you can do one of two things. You can uh, download the data directly from your my.esri.com account, but you're only going to have access to that account if you are the person um, in your organization or just yourself who has purchased ArcGIS and manages all the downloads. It's not something that you're going to have access to simply because you have an Esri Global account or an ArcGIS Online account. It's something separate. So in that case, if you cannot get the person who is in charge to download and install the data for your use, here's how you can take matters into your own hands. And it all starts at this URL, esri.com slash data slash data hyphen maps. When you come to this page, you can scroll down and read the information. If you do have access to your My Esri, you can get to it here. If not, click on the download button. And you're taken to a page in ArcGIS Online for the Esri data and maps. And each of the layers has been separated out into a layer package that you can download. So find the one that you're interested in and download it. Here I have North American landmarks. So when I come to the open down button, I can open it directly in ArcGIS for desktop or I can just download it. I am going to go ahead and open it in ArcGIS for desktop and I'll choose the default to open it with the ArcGIS file handler. Notice it's going to be an ArcGIS package, package information. So we'll see how that looks. It downloaded, it didn't ask me where I want to download it. So it's going to be a bit of a treasure hunt and we'll see in just a moment. Let's jump into ArcMap which I already had open and it opens the layer I'm not seeing the data yet, uh, maybe because it's still downloading. Let's see what happens. It's grouped. I'm just going to right click and zoom to the layer, see if it'll show anything. And it doesn't look like it's ready to yet. So here's the layer information with the symbology and the scale dependency. I'll look on the list by source tab and see where it's actually saved my data and it's buried it in my user profile. So you can make note of that location and I'll just go there and show you for the heck of it. So we'll go to C and then users, Michelle, it's my user profile, and then documents, ArcGIS, and then packages, there's the North American landmarks. That's the one I just downloaded. So when I come in here, I see the layer file and then the data. And if I burrow down, the data is in this SDC format. It's a special data format for this Esri data and maps. It can be used, but it's you can't really edit it. It's better to save this into some other format where you can edit it and reserve this as your backup copy. So you'll want to save this, maybe copy and paste it somewhere other than this rather cryptic location. Uh, and then inside of ArcMap, if you want to actually save the data, you can come back to List by Drawing Order, right click on a layer, and go Data, Export Data. You can navigate to some location where you might want to save this, maybe in an existing geodatabase or a, as a shape file. You choose. So I'm going to call this one North American Landmarks. I'll go ahead and save it and say OK. 
it's exporting all this data into a new GeoDatabase feature class. I'll go ahead and add it to my map. And now I have these North American landmarks in a format that I can use. So let's look at the attribute table. You can see the attributes are here, so it tells me the landmark name, there's an FCC code, and some other system-defined attributes. Okay, so if you don't have access to the full download, you can go through and download layer by layer in this way. All right, this is Michelle Geomatic saying goodbye for now.